You know, I think that vision is is very uh, very compelling, and uh, you know will be incredibly useful to many people uh, in the UK and globally. So I think it's a really it's a really important piece of work. Um, you know, I look forward to, to seeing it and, and hopefully in, in helping support it. Bonjour, Julian. How are you doing? Bonjour. Very well. So it's a pleasure to meet in person. So we're today in Glasgow. It's the end of a rather busy and productive day. Mm. It's the first ever FinTech National Network Symposium. That's right. Yep, it's been excellent. It's been brilliant to have all the different parts of the, uh, the UK ecosystem together in the same place. Uh, you know, that's been a big change over the last sort of six to 12 months that everyone started to engage and communicate and, and, you know, and collaborate a lot more. It's really positive. And uh, I just had a chance to sit down with Stephen, and I know that I believe you are involved uh, deeply actually with FinTech North and FinTech Wales, right? FinTech North and FinTech West. So West, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> FinTech North and FinTech West are, uh, are both entities that, that we help to operate. Um, they're both quite events-based, community-building um, entities that, that put on events for people that are interested in fintech in the in the regions that they operate in, and uh, and they're both gaining momentum and going really well, and quite uh, quite rewarding things to be involved in. And as I summarized uh, to Stephen, you've been busy in almost two years in Scotland, I believe, with more than 100 uh, fintech SMEs, like uh, 15 universities or 16 uh, fintech spaces, uh, the European Discovery Program, which has been announced a few days ago, the festival uh, last month, mm -hmm. and today the symposium. So what's next? What can you do even like to push the further the envelope, uh, Julian? I think I, mean, I think this is really uh, the, very great. The momentum's brilliant. You know, there's lots of things happening. You've just listed um, quite a few. You know, there's sort of the the startup scene is evolving right around the UK. Um, there's more funding coming into the regions, probably not as much as we'd like, but there's more funding. There's more jobs. Uh, you know, there's more companies. There's more profile, and and all of this is sort of, is good and helping make the UK um, fintech economy grow and prosper. So I think it's all part of a, a growing national story. Um, it's good to be part of it. Yeah. So uh, it's quite unique. I mean, you, you're very involved in North and in West, yeah. not just Wales, sorry. Um, so today we talked about interesting things. We talked about collaboration, which I think we mentioned probably a million times for the right reasons. Yep. But we also mentioned about the importance to have your own almost identity mm -hmm. per region and le find what your voice or what your, your, almost your goal is yeah. and manage to embrace that specificity or uh, yeah. and I think a lot of regions are still working on that am I correct yeah that's right and um, and in my day job as a um, as a consultant I'm doing some of that work with the regions to help them understand um, what their ecosystem looks like and and we often talk about that as um, putting their flag in the ground mm -hmm. you know what are the things they need to stand for what are the things that are different because every region has a lot of the same strengths you know, and those are typically good universities strong economy um, uh, it kind of um, you know it's a strong um, investor interest you know a desire to grow startups all of that you know te emerging technology they're all they're all present everywhere and um, and they're all drivers of economic growth I think uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, you know what's important it's really important to try to be able to frame the whole thing so that we have a UK story and it looks like we are operating you know all in the same interests but that within that story we understand you know who's got a USP where and, and that we use that for our collective benefit um, rather than getting drawn into a lot of co co um, competition where everybody wants to try to be the best at everything which is you know it's never going to be possible so you, you, uh, your own identity almost and your strengths actually leverage that by region. But uh, you reckon that still every region is keen still to share best practices. It's not a question, as you said, of just, ah, I don't want to share because I want to be ultimately better than you. There's still uh, that, 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 not friendship, not brotherhood, but, you know, for lack of better words. But uh, that's, that collaboration, actually, the spirit of collaboration is among us. You said it already that we must have said collaboration a million times today. You know, it, the, it's the common theme, uh, and I do think it becomes a lot easier when everyone gets to know each other. You know, face-to-face -face environments. It's it's where you build relationships, and once you know someone, everything becomes easier. If it's just a name on a piece of paper or the end of an email, and you're trying to get on the same page, it's just harder. So I think things like this event, you can't underestimate how valuable it is that everybody spends some time together, understands the personalities as well as the you know the environments that we're all working in. 
Yeah, I think you echo a lot of people this morning who mentioned that the importance of seeing each other, so in the real life and not just virtual, so that helps. Uh, as you know, at Findexable, we're very busy building like what we believe is going to be the first truly global Findex index. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to help really countries and cities, regions to benchmark themselves and eventually, again, to drive growth and being able to, to track success as well. Uh, how important is such an initiative, and you might argue there might be a few others, but uh, how important is it to have a, a real, unbiased, transparent benchmark? I, you know, I think that vision is is very, uh, very compelling, and uh, you know, will be incredibly useful to many people uh, in the UK and globally. So I think it's a really, it's a really important piece of work. Um, you know, I look forward to to seeing it and and hopefully in, in helping support it. Thank you. Of course, for us, what's important is to build those relationships with uh, fintech hubs, association, governments, uh, organizations, because uh, the quality of the data and how comprehensive the data will be, the data set, will rely as well on partners like yourself. So we hope that, uh, again, we can build some great relationships with you. Uh, of course, our end goal is not just to provide an index, right, which I think is extremely valuable, but it's also to contribute positively to important topics or matters. And we're talking here financial inclusion, we're talking talent, of course, and we're talking like diversity, for instance. And by the way, this morning, congratulations for putting a great uh, panel at yeah. the end of the session. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, that, and they're the things that people really get interested in and fired up by. So we get into those hot topics and you know, talking about the different technologies and themes. And yeah, that's the, that's that's where we can really make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, Julian, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we very much look forward to working with you and your team and your colleagues. And next month, we'll have a first report, 200 cities, 40 countries. So very excited. And uh, again, we uh, very much look forward to uh, building great things together in 2020. Yes. And all the best again for FinTech North, FinTech West and uh, all your endeavors. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Julian.